The outspoken Gormahia chairman Ambrose Rachiru has become an online sensation after confessing that he is a member of the infamous Freemason secret group. Rachiru boldly disclosed that he has been a member of the group since 1994 and does not regret his decision to choose that path. Speaking on NTV on Sunday, October 3rd, the university don't divulge intriguing details about the secret group, dismissing its leakages to devil worshipping. He said, I think it is all about ignorance. If you get to the Masonic Hall, the first thing you get is a citation of King Solomon to God. I think most are talking from a point of view of Christianity, yet Masonry is based on any is not based on any particular religion. We have Muslims in Freemasonry, Christians, Buddhists, and a few atheists, so there is no reference whatsoever to issues of devil worship, whoever the devil is, said Mr. Rachir. And Rachir also insisted that Freemasonry, Freemasonry is a society like many other societies. He said that the first step in joining the secret group is through referrals where one is invited by an insider. He said the insider explains to you about the group and its importance. The insider then holds a meeting with the already initiated members to inform them that he has someone he would like to bring in. He went ahead and said, we will then invite you to an interview. We talk to you about a few, few things. In particular, we are concerned about your family, what they will think about you because of all these negative views. And if there's any rejection, it will then be announced to seek objection, explained Mr. Rachir. He said the objection may come from someone who knows your negative character. If there are no reasons, then one is welcomed and shown what it is all about. The lawyer also debunked the notion that people join the Freemason society ostensibly to acquire wealth and power. He said the main reason they join Freemasonry is to propagate charity. He said that even though there are few wealthy people in the group, there are those people who live ordinary lives like himself. He said most of the people there are just simple Kenyans. Some of them are businessmen, some are medical practitioners and lawyers. I don't think we have any politicians. The common denomination is not wealth. It is charitable practices, he added. The chair also dismissed the long-held notion that people sacrifice their family members to join the group. For the 28 years he has been a member of the group, he said he has never seen anyone sacrifice anybody. He said that he has not lost any close family members since joining the group. And he went ahead to say that, I want to thank God for this. All my children are alive. I have lost no sibling or child and they are known, said Rachir. So thank you for watching the team mistress. Tell us what you think about Freemansory. And if you have any comment, please don't forget to share your thoughts about this on the comment section. Like and also share this with other friends. Thank you.